Hey guys, iPod Crever King here, and today's going to be my review of the Vivitar Mini Tabletop Spider Leg Tripod. Now, before I start the review, I'm just going to say that this is a very, very popular tripod. By popular, I mean that the design and how it's built is very popular, and many companies try to replicate the exact same thing, and they basically are the exact same thing, and there's no difference besides maybe a couple different logos. So, th you can find this on Amazon, but they have about four or two, I think there's two, um, kinds that have by their different company names. I looked at the pictures, and they're exactly the same. So you can buy it for two little different products. They're not different products, they're exactly the same, but they're just made by different companies. I think one's 50 cents cheaper, and I'll put that one in the description. But anyway, or down below. But anyway, this is going to be my review of the Vivitar Mini Spider Leg Tripod. I guess you could call it Vivitar, I guess. So anyway, let's just start off by saying the price. Guys, this thing is $2.50. Okay, two dollars and fifty cents, I believe. It is three bucks. Okay, let's just say three bucks for now. Three bucks for this really nice tripod. The build quality, you think it for three bucks would be kind of tingy, plastic, and is overall not that great. No, guys, this this these little legs, these bendable legs, and I'll get to that in a second, are metal. I believe they're metal. They're not plastic. They're definitely not plastic. They're some kind of really sturdy material that I'm, I'm almost positive it's metal. But down here are these rubber feet that when you put on any surface, try to move it, guys, it's not going to move. So you don't need to worry about it sliding on your table or anything. So that's a huge plus. Um, build quality, like I said, awesome. These really high-end rubber feet with this nice metal sturdy pole. The only part that's plastic on this is this, this little head. It says Vivitar right there, TM. And this little head, that's the only thing that's plastic on that. And that's, it does, it's not like the cheap plastic. It's very high end, very high quality plastic that Vivitar has tried to put in this. So that's very good. And then here we have this little padding. I know you can't see that on camera, but we have these little bumps that protect your camera from scratches and stuff like that so you know your camera's gonna be safe on this up here you have this middle me, middle metal middle metal head that um this little metal screw that you can screw your camera in if it has a tripod mount which a lot of them do so overall guys the weight's great it's a little heavy um surprising i mean guys look how tiny this is and it's kind of heavy just because the build quality is great the, like i said the only plastic thing is this and then it has this built belt clip which is very nice it clips onto your belt or your pants or whatever and will not fall off you know it's great for just that quick picture you want to take it out take a picture of your family Put it there, spread out the legs, and boom, you took a picture, put it right on your belt, and then you're good to go. So, um, like I said, kind of heavy, not big a deal. <laughs> Certainly not something you'd be able to not carry around for hours and hours. So, that's, that's, that's great. I mean, it, it's nice. It's a very good, and I'm overall impressed with the build quality. Now, how does this work? So, basically, you have these bendable legs right here that you can bend into any shape or form. Just bend them out however you want to suit it. So, that's what's, that's what's great about these kind of tripods, these little spider-like tripods. I think that's what they're called. Oh, thing. I know that's what they're called. So, you can bend them in any way, any, like I said, in any way, shape, or form. And then you can set it down, and really, any way, it'll... Sorry if the desk is kind of moving, but any way, like I said, it'll fit it. It's not rocking or anything. It's only rocking because I ha don't have any weight on it, but I'll put some cameras and camcorders on there in one second. So, like I said, guys, spread out the legs, tall or short, like, um, obviously, the wider, the more spread apart the legs are, the more stable it's going to be. But, when you spread it to anything, one thing I did notice, a lot of ways, like, whenever you spread it apart, whether you do it this way, down here like that... It always kind of, the tripod thing's facing up. So what I had to do is kind of, bit, um, to make it face downward like that, if I'm videoing something like a review, I have to bend this leg like this way, and then these that way. And then that'll kind of push it down, and then spread these apart. Like I said, it's kind of complicated. That's one downfall of these. And then it'll kind of tilt forward like that. So kind of annoying with these little legs that you have to, Make sure it's 
perfect and then they sometimes can't start stop bending about right here so that's one little downfall but nothing big and guys three bucks come on you can't beat that so now without further ado i'm just gonna get this camera this is actually the camera that i was filming with in my very low quality videos this is the 8 megapixel camera I was talking about if you stuck around me since the beginning. Stuck around with me since the beginning. So here's the tripod mount. All you have to do is get a little screw and screw that in. It's all tight, guys. It is nice. It, it's This is how tall it is. So, I mean, it's pretty good. I don't know if I can get it all in the frame. There we go. So, it, it's very good. I mean, it's not going to wiggle once you have it tight. It doesn't feel loose. I cannot even budge this. So, very solid, very nice, and it doesn't feel cheap, like I said in the beginning. So, let's let's stand this up for you if I can on camera. But it's it's very actually kind of simple. You just prop it up, and even though there it has some weight down here, you can still easily prop it up if I can. Hopefully, I'll have some luck on camera. So, there we go. As you can see, um, it's kind of this. this is what it looked like little bendable legs in case you want to kind of replicate that whenever you set yours up but anyway it really works you don't need to be you know you don't need to find a perfect way for this because anyway guys tilt it a little bit forward <laughs> uh so that obviously that didn't work but it does take some time to get used to like i said i got this i believe yesterday yeah yesterday and and you know i still haven't got quite used to it but i i've enough i know enough to get the full review on so here it is like I said, kind of weird, looks kind of weird. It is very short, so, you know, hold on, get this out. It is very short, so you might, if you're filming something, like, downward, like a review or something, you might need to pile some stuff on to get a good view if it's something larger. Not something if it's tiny, but this will do fine if it's tiny. Larger, like I said, may pile some books up. So, that really wasn't enough for a test. We need to get this heavy big camcorder out. This is the thick one. I might do this for some of my videos. I don't know. Because this does have a flip out little monitor so I can record my videos like that. But I don't know. That's not what we're looking at. That's not what this video is about. So, anyway, like I said, this can hold this pretty good. I mean, I'm not so sure about a huge, huge, huge camera. You might want to get more professional stand for that. But. Um, you know, this sometimes works, not always, but, guys, it's, it's stronger than you'd think. I mean, right there, I just plopped it down, didn't even really think about it, and it's already standing at still now. It's not the best one, but I can tilt the legs anyway, and it will just go in the direction like that. So, it's not, it's not like I'm going like that, and it's, it's still holding still, so that's great. Hopefully, when you're on the Grand Canyon taking a picture of your family, that... This won't blow away, and you lost about three hundred dollars. So that's including the cam cam um, camcorder that is. So this can hold great stuff. I mean, very heavy stuff. What I meant to say was so ranging from this to this and heavier. This will be able to do that. Put these away. So like I said, this does have a belt clip. Where you can tighten it, like put it on your pants. Um, I'm putting a lot of pressure and it's barely moving so that is a durable so that's about it guys overall i really really cannot recommend this tripod enough guys three bucks near three bucks 250 three bucks whatever um you can really cannot be the press i see some of these that replicate it exactly there's no difference and it is 10 15 bucks like the flip one the flip one's exactly like this almost and it's 10 bucks so that is definitely rec Guys, guys, definitely recommend this to anyone who's looking for a pretty solid mini tabletop tripod, either do reviews, take, you know, pictures of your family and friends, or do whatever, guys. This is a great tripod. Don't have it. I totally recommend it. Like I said before, this is about it. iPod Crevic King, and I will catch you guys in the next one.